good evening all welcome to this new session we will try to see some strindromic spotters so there will be two or three findings and the constellation of findings are signs we can come to a conclusion of the syndrome so this is the first case here you can see there are multiple well-defined radiolucent lytic lesions noted predominantly in the mandible and also in the posterior mandible and they are located around the roots of the teeth uh, and also you can see there is a dense midline fox wax calcifications so whenever you see multiple cysts in the mandible especially in the posterior mandible around the root of the cyst, uh, root of the teeth and also you see bilamellar fox calcification definitely suspect gorling gold syndrome so these are the arrows which indicate multiple odontogenic keratosis and this is bilamellar fox calcification and it's called as gorlin gold syndrome or also there is a increased risk for basal cell carcinomas in this case so that's why it's called basal cell nevus syndrome next case here you can see there is a cystic lesion with enhancing mural nodule uh, and also you can see there are multiple cysts noted in the pancreas and also in the renal cysts are there and also there are uh, mixed residual intensity lesions also noted in the cystic lesions and also there are enhancing uh, lesions also noted along the spinal cord along with uh, some syrinx so this was a case of uh, von hippel linda syndrome so these are multiple hemangioblastomas and they are associated with pancreatic and renal cysts and they are most commonly predisposed to uh, uh, risk factor is renal cell carcinoma and most common is clear cell type of carcinoma and there will be hemangioblastoma also, also noted in the spinal cord and sometimes there will be drop metastasis so suspect whenever you see multiple hemangioblastomas with pancreatic and renal cysts definitely suspect von hippel linda syndrome next case here you can see there is a diffuse white matter hyperintensities and there are uh, cyst cysts noted and also you can see there are hypointensity lesions noted in the bilateral basal ganglia which are showing blooming on GRE. So whenever you see this leukoencephalopathy and even multiple edematosis and multiple cerebral calcifications that is called as leukoencephalopathy with cerebral calcifications and edematosis also known as Labrune syndrome. Next case here you can see there is a hyperlucent uni, uh, this right hemithorax is hyperlucent when compared with the left. Uh, here you can see there is absence of pectoralis uh, major and minor muscle on the right side here also you can see there is absence of pectoralis uh, major and minor muscle resulting in the loss of bulk of muscle musculature on the right side of the chest with even hyperplastic best on right side and also you can see there are multiple small digits that is uh, brachydactyly also noted so whenever you see there is um, absence of the pectoralis major and minor on one side hyperplastic chest on one side uh, hyperplasia of the second to fifth ribs and even uh, hyperplasia or absence of the breast on one side associated with small hands and brachydactyly and sometimes syndactyly definitely suspect poland syndrome so this was a case of poland syndrome uh, here this is other case where you can see there is a bilateral pulmonary plethora even left atrial appendage is uh, dilated even right atrium and right ventricular uh, are dilated uh, leading to cardiomegaly and you can see there are a fusion of the carpal bones you can see there is a fusion of the carpal bones and even polydactyly when you count you can see there are multiple digits more than five so this is polydactyly and even there is deformities of the teeth in the same case so this was a uh, this is atrial septal defect on the right side and even multiple uh, syncarpus and polydactyly along with deformities of teeth uh, suspect ellis van krivald syndrome or contracted abnormal dysplasia so this is a case of ellis van krivald syndrome so whenever you see cardiac anomalies associated with syncarpus or polydactyly and deformities of teeth definitely suspect ellis van krivald syndrome next case here you can see there are classical bilateral posterior iliac horns this is the one iliac horn this is the other iliac horn and also there is hyperplasia of the uh, radial head in this case so whenever you see whenever you see a triad of uh, bilateral posterior iliac horns which is pathognomonic feature and in the elbow there will be hyperplasia of the radial head and in the knee there will be absence or hyperplasia hyperplastic patella definitely I suspect nail patella syndrome so this was a case of nail patella syndrome so whenever you suspect bilateral posterior iliac horns along with absent patella or hyperplasia of the radial head definitely suspect nail patella syndrome Next here you can see there is a hypointense uh, lesion noted predominantly impacted in the neck of the gallbladder causing edema of the gallbladder which is even causing compression of the uh, CBD and common hepatic duct and even bilateral uh, right and main hepatic ducts and IHBRD is dilated. So whenever you see a calculus which is uh, impacted at the cystic, cystic duct or in the neck of the gallbladder which is causing compression of the extra hepatic biliary radicals resulting in dilatation of the CBD or CHD or IHBRD definitely suspect Mirizi syndrome.
next case here you can see both the ovaries are enlarged and there are multiple uh, enlarged follicles in it even the volume of the ovaries is enlarged even free fluid is noted in the abdomen that is ascites and even bilateral pleural, bilateral pleural effusions is seen with uh, subsegmental atelectasis so definitely suspect uh, polycystic ovarians uh, polycystic uh, ovaries along with ovarian increased ovarian volume and pleural effusion ascites definitely suspect ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome that is OHSS thank you all